Wouldn't it be cool to drink your ham shake with a ham plastic straw from a ham plastic cup? Could ham plastic be considered as an option to reduce the harm caused by regular plastic and what is the potential of bioplastics made from ham? Find out in this video. Over the past 50 years the world plastic production has doubled. Researchers estimated that more than 8.3 billion tons of plastic have been produced since the early 1950s. This is more than the weight of 53 million blue whales. More than half of it ended up either in landfills or in a natural environment. Remember, just because it looks like nature doesn't necessarily mean it is. Most plastics are made from chemicals derived from oil, natural gas and coal, all of which are non-renewable resources. Accordingly, it takes anywhere from 10 to 1000 years for a piece of plastic to decompose. Just to make that clear to imagine. 1000 years ago, knights swung their swords in the first crusade and vikings raided villages. There is no question, the world needs a sustainable alternative to conventional plastic. Hemp plastic is fully biodegradable and can decompose in at least as 3 to 6 months in the right environment. For comparison, a conventional plastic water bottle, for example, can take up to 500 years to decompose. That's more than 1000 times as long. Another benefit of the hemp plastic is that it can be recycled as many times as is required. There are several ways to make hemp-based plastic. For example, it is possible to use hemp cellulose to make plastics such as celluloid, cellophane, rayon and ray-ban. Oh, sorry, my fault. Cellulose is an essential component of the cell walls of many plant species. The high cellulose content of hemp amounting to 65-70% to makes it an ideal material for the production of biodegradable plastics. However, there's a downside. Unfortunately, the production of plastic from hemp cellulose is a long and complex process that consumes a lot of energy. No, not this one. The price for the production of this kind of plastic is therefore significantly higher as well, estimated to be twice as much than the price for petroleum-based plastic. Most, if not all hemp plastics on the market today are so-called biocomposites, a blend of hemp fibers with other plastic compounds. Most of them contain only between 5 and 30% hemp biomaterial. But hey, that's at least a bigger percentage than that of fruit in a fruit yogurt. Therefore, many hemp plastic products advertised as sustainable are actually just conventional plastics mixed with hemp biocomposites. These materials cannot be recycled nor do they offer any real sustainability benefits over traditional plastic products. But as we all know, different laws apply on the distant planet of advertising, right? Nevertheless, there are already various brands that use hemp bioplastic compounds to produce ecological packaging, furniture, surfboards, food wrap, plastic pens, CD cases, musical instruments and of course the everyday used insoles for 3D printers. In the automotive industry certain auto parts are made from hemp plastic compounds. Big companies such as BMW and Mercedes-Benz frequently use it for the production of door panels and rear shelves among other things for certain vehicle series. So here is the final question. Could hemp replace plastic entirely? The short answer is no. Currently the required manufacturing facilities and proper recycling facilities specializing in hemp plastics are just not available. This means that it may take many years from now before there is enough production capacity to circulate pure hemp plastic on a global scale. Nevertheless, hemp plastic is definitely a very promising product that could increasingly come into focus in the future due to its robustness, durability and versatility. What would you use hemp plastic for? Let us know in the comments below. Did you enjoy the video? Then don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.